I'm going to be showing you how to use the Festool LR32 system to drill a series of shelf pin holes for a cabinet that I'm working on. Before we begin, I want to point out the tools that I'll be using. The Festool OF1400 plunge router. I've already gone ahead and attached and centered the LR32 guide base to it. An LR32 rail. Two longitudinal stops. A pair of lateral stops. A 5mm doweling bit. This is the brad point version since I'll only be plunging part of the way through the material. And equally important, hearing and eye protection. This is my workpiece that I'll be using the LR32 system to drill a series of shelf pin holes along that edge and this edge. The first step is to position the rail using the longitudinal stops. I'm going to choose to use a 32mm offset setting on the longitudinal stop and I'll be putting a stop on both ends of the rail. The next step is to take the lateral stops, which I've set to 35 millimeters, and place them on the rail. With the lateral stops in place, I'll slide the rail to engage the longitudinal stop and both lateral stops. With the rail positioned, the next step is to clamp both ends in place. and then remove the lateral stops. We're now ready to connect power and begin drilling our holes. I'm gonna lock the trigger in the on position and use my right hand to smoothly plunge the router. My left hand is going to slide the guide plate down the rail. You can see how the guide plate indexes with the guide rail for precise positioning of each hole. Once I've drilled the first series of holes, I'm going to reposition the rail and flip it 180 degrees and drill the final set. And then I'm going to take my lateral stops again, clamp those into place. and then reposition the rail to ensure that it's in contact with this stop and the two lateral stops. Once the rail's in place, I will again clamp both ends and then remove the lateral stops. I'm now gonna start the router and begin drilling my second set of holes. Just like before, one hand is going to move the guide base down the rail, and the other is going to smoothly plunge the router. Once I'm done with the second pass, I can take the guide rail off and examine the quality of cut. As you can see, everything came out clean and crisp. Using a T-square, we can verify the squareness and accuracy of both sets of holes. Perfect exactly in alignment. A couple more checks, everything looks dead on. This is the accuracy you can expect from the LR32 system. 